Eunice. Hmm? You said tonight. I did? Yeah. Oh, Dutch, I'm really not in the mood. You're not? No, honey, and you wouldn't want me to just go through the motions, would you? Yeah. Dutch. Oh, Eunice, it's been two weeks, and I got all these little jeans running around inside my body. And you had them thinking they were leaving tonight, and you can't just... You can't just cancel their trip. Maybe tomorrow, sweetie. They're already packed. Honestly, Dutch, I mean, it hasn't been that long. What'd you do in prison? Eunice, give it to me straight. What's wrong? What do you mean? You don't seem interested anymore. Why do you say that? You used to yell and scream and pull my hair. You don't do that anymore. Where's the affection? <laughs> Dutch, you're making a big deal out of nothing. Come on, Eunice. What did I do wrong? You married me. What else could I do? It was our wedding. Well, I just sort of took the uh, zip out of our sex life. I mean, Dutch, I like romance when it's dangerous. Like when you were a fugitive and we were on the run. So what are we going to do, Eunice? I don't know. I mean, I'll do anything to help. I just don't know what to do. Help? Huh? <laughs> Maybe we could, um... Yeah? Well, never mind. What? <laughs> no, you, you'd think it, it was sick. No, I wouldn't. Tell me. Maybe it'll help. <laughs> well, we could act out our fantasies. We could pretend we're other people. That's sick! <laughs> Okay, honey, that's fine. Fantasies are fine. Just tell me what to do. Okay, we could act out a movie. We could act out the beach scene in From Here to Eternity. Oh, boy, that's my favorite movie. Oh, okay. Okay, what do we do? Uh, well, um, uh, I'm Deborah Carr. <laughs> and you're Burt Lancaster. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> We're lying in the sand, and the surf is pounding. Whew! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's a romantic moonlit night. The palm trees are swaying in the breeze. <laughs> but any second, the Japs are going to attack Pearl Harbor. That's later, darling. Right now, I'm lying beside the man I love. That's you, Sergeant. Oh. <laughs> and you take me in your arms, and you tell me you never knew it could be like this. I never knew it could be like this. Oh, and I love you. <laughs> oh, but I know it's wrong, because I'm married and I'm cheating on my husband. But you're all I can think about. <laughs> what are you thinking about, Sergeant? <laughs> I'm thinking about Ernie Borg, Knight, and Monty Cliff fighting in the bar, and I gotta go break it up. No, don't leave me, don't leave me. Hold me, I can't live without you. But you're an officer's wife. I don't care. I couldn't help overhearing, Sergeant. Are you crazy throwing away a brilliant career? She's an officer's wife, man. Back to your barracks on the double, and I'll hush this thing up. <laughs> Carry on. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> what is that? Orange juice. Orange juice, that's all? And uh, spices. What spices? Vodka. Vodka? Vodka? Look, Mary, do you know what time it is? It's 7.30 in the morning. You're drinking in the morning. But everybody has orange juice in the morning. <laughs> this is not orange juice. This is a screwdriver. This is mostly orange juice. With a little alcohol for flavoring. Mm. Man, man, man. Wait a minute, man. It's, yeah. it's just, man, please. Man. 
Hey, what is it? I told you, orange juice and a little... No, 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 man. That's not what I mean. Come on. I'm a little lonely. That's all. Just a little lonely. All right, man. I'm just... sorry, man. I've just been so busy because of what's happening here. But it's going to change now. I promise you. It's not just that. It's... Get <laughs> It's... It's Jessica. Uh, all this about something that happened, what, almost 30 years ago? It's, it's ridiculous. You, you were a kid. You knew nothing. Obviously, to have gotten involved with Chester. It wasn't all that bad, Bert. Oh, oh, oh. Two of them with two sisters at the same time? That's not how it happened. He and I were seeing each other. Nobody even knew yet. And he hardly even knew Jessica. And then one day... Wait till you hear what I have to tell you. I know what it is. Darlene Cook goes all the way. Patty told me. Who cares? No, it's not that. It's something else. I Darlene Cook goes all the way. <laughs> That's what Patty said. Who did she go all the way with? Omega Delta. <laughs> but Patty lies. Omega Delta? Is that a foreign student? <laughs> Jess, it's a fraternity, not a person. I see. Well, Mary, that's good, huh? I mean, if she'd gone all the way with a person, she might have ended up preggers. <laughs> Until you hear what I have to tell you. What? You're not going to believe it. Oh, come <laughs> on, Jess. Come on. Well, oh, Mary. Mary, out of the blue, Chester Tate asked me to marry him. What do you think about that? I know. I know, Mary. I reacted exactly the same way. I mean, do you believe it, Chester Tate? Oh, golly, he's so suave. <laughs> I said to him, my goodness, we haven't even dated. Why do you want to marry me? And Mary, he said that he had always loved me from afar. <gasps> from afar, Mary. Oh, do you believe it? He's going to be here any minute. Oh, God, I love him. I love him. I mean, I know I don't know him, but what I know, I know I love. <laughs> oh, Mary, Mary. <laughs> I want you to stay and talk to him and meet him, and he's going to be family, Mary. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Well, come on in. Mary? 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 You know Chester Tate, do you? Huh? Chester, this, this is my sister, Mary Gatling. Hi. Hi. Well, why don't you guys get acquainted with each other? Chester, mm. I'm going to go upstairs and tell Mother the good news, okay? Yeah, fine. All right? Okay. You gonna marry Jessica? Hey, I'm sorry. I don't believe this. Yeah, well, neither do I. I'm, I'm sorry. 
sorry? Last night you were in bed with me, and today you asked Jessica to marry you? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's been a crazy 24 hours. <laughs> you loved her from afar? You've been sleeping with me, but you've been in love with her from afar? I haven't loved her from afar. I never even looked at her. Well, I'm mean, not her face. <laughs> I don't believe this. Uh, yeah, well, imagine how I felt. <laughs> Your mother told me I had to marry Jessica or my father would end up in jail. For what? Stock fraud. He cheated your mother out of a small fortune. <laughs> Boy, was she mad. <laughs> what does Jessica have to do with this? Blackmail. Your mother doesn't think anybody will marry Jessica because she's so scatterbrained. This way, she has a chance to marry her off. And you're going to do it? Oh, gee whiz, Mary, I have to. If I don't, my father's going to end up in jail. I don't believe this. And he'll cut me out of his will, which is no small potatoes because he's loaded now that he's robbed your mother. <laughs> you creep. You're disgusting. You are a disgusting, vile, disgusting, opportunistic, disgusting liar. Mary. Wow, Mary. Hey, you guys, what do you expect me to do? Run off with you? Your mother would track us down. She's determined that I marry Jessica. My father's going to end up in jail. <laughs> oh, God. I have no alternative, Mary. What would you have me do? Be good to my sister. Bye, Mary. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> 